Very recently, we've got Lawrence Reed, very famous economist uh, that that is part of the network. Ron Paul, of course, he is a famous U.S. congressman who ran for the presidency multiple times in the United States, who really He's holds the of, flag uh, of liberty. Wow, what wonderful! So, wonderful. <laughs> you know, we've got we've got, um, but also people that are actively now involved with liberal and there are a bunch of heroes. You know, Tariq Abbas is also uh, he's our Secretary of State, but he's also representative for British King. You know, Thomas Walls is a former U.S. diplomat, also very interesting guy. That that uh, you know, it's a great support for for liberal and so not just people that are like regular citizens, but also people that are actively involved now with liberal and are are really great um, personalities. Some of them quite famous that that are helping us to move forward. Yeah, even Drubinsky, I think he's he's a uh, he's a uh, quite a known. Of course, person. we also gave him the the status of diplomat because, of course, he does a lot of traveling and a lot of diplomacy. This is a perfect example for all of us to see what's happening new in the world because we all used to all the the old stuff. No one really innovates. People innovate in the tech sector. People innovate in all the other places, but no one really innovates in countries changing structures these are all the old rules people are fed up and it's high time people get something fresh something new this is the i completely f- agree i completely agree and but there is one thing you need to understand you know the the amount of innovation that we did with liberland on the governance level is substantial you know we actually combined the best elements of corporation democracy uh, republic and a little bit of monarchy as well into one big DAO, a completely decentralized system of governance that is just kicking in, which is a very powerful tool, I believe, that Liberlanders will have. And we are literally, I think, five to ten years ahead of any other nation state. Okay. Uh, and I'm, I'm quite proud of that, that we managed to put it together. And there is one more thing, you know, this is an adventurous uh, venture. You know, of course, what we are doing is has never been done before. People have to understand that when visiting Liberland, they can still uh, have a, a quite a. They can see quite a bit of tension from Croatia. There will be a couple pullbacks for sure, uh, back and forth. But that's what makes Liberland creation also a lot of fun. I see, absolutely, absolutely. Read and the other big thing is, you know, what I've seen is you never got fixated on the physical, just the land, land aspect of it. You moved forward with all the other stuff that truly matters. A lot of stuff happens digitally, and you, let's get to the the Lieber verse in a second here. But that is one thing you really pushed forward for. So you, you never got stuck on the physical aspect. So a lot of people get disappointed when there's a resistance from the country, you know, at conflict, and then uh, they give up. They don't pursue their, 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 you know, their process. But in your case, you went all ahead in all directions, which is what truly stands out uh, compared to the rest of the yeah, other. Yeah, and you know, and there are two things. I think you're right in this. That there are two things. I really wish you know our our metaverse project was pushed more strongly forward because the the guy that was operating it is actually now the physical mayor in Liberland. So he he couldn't really he is completely focused on the physical aspect of liberal. It's quite funny that the, the director basically or the guy that was leading the physical the the virtual uh, development of Liberland is now the physical mayor of Liberland as well. But uh, but we get we're getting really big partners for the development of it. Hopefully over the next couple of weeks we get a new company that will that will start developing it. There is a very good base, you know. The the whole system has been done using Unreal 5 and also scalability up to 10,000 people. Uh, so it it is a very good technological base that needs to be developed. That's one aspect. And one more aspect I want to talk about. We also decided to scale Liberland itself. Its physical scaling okay. is now a big thing. Uh, we are buying, bar- buying these barges that have 4,000 square meters, and we're building international uh, in international waters under Liberland flag in an Indian Ocean. So it's one of the one of the more exciting side projects that Liberland is doing. So we're also scaling Liberland territory basically by by building a floating city. It has started already uh, at the beginning of of this year, or actually already. The, the at the end of last year mm-hmm. uh, and then the, I had just call from the barge how is it going and what will be the next development phase got it now this is substantial wheat and controversial at the same time Indian Ocean obviously all the countries will try to claim some part of it as their territory uh, would this be something that they would approve you think or this is mostly um, as long as you're renting the place you claim that you have your 
so what is the recognition from other countries aren't they going to create an issue with someone being in their waters no no we're completely in international waters in this case and there is no reason why we should clash with some other countries like we're really out of out of any jurisdiction that you can think of and uh, and again like the, like so we have looked into this quite deeply and and we don't see a big problem there got it got it that's wonderful and that's amazing because that was one of my questions the land itself is finite there could be some risk so having an alternate you know pockets and that's it and that also decentralizes yourself from especially the the model in which you're working so this is a huge uh, you know put forward in the right direction that's amazing to know thanks for pointing that out Yeah, I think this is this just does make sense, you know. I don't know why, but the, for some strange reason, nobody really launched any serious seasteading project until until we started it last year, mm. under the you know with the help of of this great gentleman Samuel, uh, that also is actually ambassador of Liberia to UAE, oh. and he also is one of the great guys to help the development of our blockchain governance. Uh, you know, it was it was interesting to find out that the ambassador of other country is actually fixing the code of our DAO last yeah. year when we were doing the final sprint. So I'm really happy to have him on board, and and we just spent one hour on on the call on the on the next steps of development of this floating city. This is fascinating information which a lot of people haven't heard elsewhere. Weed, thank you so much for sharing it. And the list of people that you mentioned, especially Ron Paul, right, a big personality within the U.S. You know, um, uh, governmental structure. Uh, apart from that, I personally have come across a lot of people from the military. So a lot of people from you know different Western governments and their military are actually. Connected to this initiative, they're looking forward to this. That is fascinating. Definitely, and I'm I'm now in the process of getting the right partners from Hollywood and from a diplomatic field uh, to foster the the publicity and the news about liberal and globally, because the fact that we are settling is something that that should have a decent coverage in the world media and and I hope from next month on we will we will be able really to hear about liberal and from all sides.